Signs and Causes of Insulin Resistance What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas that helps glucose in your blood enter cells in your muscle, fat, and liver, where it's used for energy. Glucose comes from the food you eat. The liver also makes glucose in times of need, such as when you're fasting. When blood glucose, also called blood sugar, levels rise after you eat, your pancreas releases insulin into the blood. Insulin then lowers blood glucose to keep it in the normal range. What is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is the result of your body's cells losing their sensitivity or responsiveness to the hormone insulin, which is produced by your pancreas. Because insulin facilitates cells' absorption of glucose from food for energy, it plays a critical function in controlling blood sugar levels. Having chronically elevated blood sugar levels can lead to the development of insulin resistance. A blood test is often required to diagnose insulin resistance, as many symptoms can be subtle and develop over time, going unrecognized in the early stages. Among other symptoms, weight gain, frequent urination, and exhaustion may appear as insulin resistance worsens. Insulin resistance can develop into type 2 diabetes if left untreated. The information on our channel is offered solely for general and educational reasons and does not replace professional medical guidance or treatment. For any ailments or medical concerns you may have, please get advice from a physician. Signs of Insulin Resistance Increased Thirst Your body loses more fluids through urine because high blood sugar causes frequent urination. More frequent urination increases the likelihood of dehydration by causing your body to lose water. You may therefore experience increased thirst throughout the day as your body makes an effort to replace the lost fluids. Fatigue One of the main indicators of prediabetes, diabetes, and insulin resistance is fatigue. The efficiency with which your cells absorb glucose for energy is impacted by insulin resistance. Your body thus finds it difficult to utilize glucose effectively, which causes a decrease in energy and an increase in tiredness. Your blood sugar levels may also fluctuate as a result of this illness, which may add to your overall sense of exhaustion. High cholesterol. The way your body uses and stores fats and cholesterol is influenced by insulin. If your cholesterol is excessive, a straightforward blood test can determine this. If you have blood test results that indicate any of the following, your healthcare provider may suspect insulin resistance. Increased cholesterol, lower HDL, and higher LDL. High blood sugar. High blood glucose levels are referred to as hyperglycemia in medical terminology. This is frequently one of the initial indications of insulin resistance. Your healthcare provider may prescribe a hemoglobin A1C test which evaluates your average blood sugar levels over the previous three months and looks for higher blood sugar levels. If they believe you are exhibiting symptoms of high blood sugar or may be at risk of developing diabetes, less than 5.7% for the A1C test is regarded as normal. A score between 5.7% and 6.4%, however, may point to insulin resistance and prediabetes, a condition in which blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. But if your A1C is 6.5% or over, you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Frequent urination. Polyuria, or frequent urination, is your body's attempt to eliminate extra glucose. More frequent bathroom visits than usual are a common indicator of prediabetes and insulin resistance. The kidneys work hard to filter out extra glucose from the blood when your blood glucose levels are high. Normally, glucose enters the kidneys through the filter and is reabsorbed by the kidneys back into the bloodstream. But your kidneys are unable to absorb all of the extra sugar when your blood glucose levels are persistently high. Urine output increases as a result of your body having to excrete more urine and absorb water from your body's tissues due to the excess glucose in your kidneys. Skin changes. Some parts of your skin, such as the back and sides of your neck or the armpits, may seem darker in color if you develop prediabetes or insulin resistance. 
Acanthosis nigricans is the name given to this illness. These areas of your skin may also get darker in color and produce a few tiny growths known as skin tags. Weight gain. Increased blood glucose levels might result from your body's inability to efficiently use sugar as energy when it develops an insulin resistance. Your body reacts to this by increasing insulin production to make up for the elevated blood sugar levels. However, your body may accumulate more fat than usual as a result of this excessive insulin production, particularly around the waist. Insulin resistance is commonly linked to this increase in abdominal weight. Tingling at the bottom of the feet. Insulin resistance is frequently manifested as tingling in the feet. Even in the absence of diabetes, high blood sugar levels can lead to neuropathy, a disorder that damages nerves. Nerve injury typically starts in the feet and might result in tingling, numbness, or a pins and needles sensation. Polycystic ovary syndrome. There is a connection between PCOS and insulin resistance. Infertility, painful periods, and irregular menstrual cycles are some of the signs and symptoms of PCOS. Major depressive disorder. Additionally, doctors link elevated blood insulin levels, even in the absence of diabetes, to a higher risk of major depressive illness. What is prediabetes? Prediabetes means your blood glucose levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. Prediabetes usually occurs in people who already have some insulin resistance or whose beta cells in the pancreas aren't making enough insulin to keep blood glucose in the normal range. Without enough insulin, extra glucose stays in your bloodstream rather than entering your cells. Over time, you could develop type 2 diabetes. Causes of insulin resistance Although the exact etiology of insulin resistance is still unknown, Research points to a role for both hereditary and environmental variables, including excess body weight and body fat. One of the main reasons of insulin resistance is being overweight, especially if that overweight is concentrated around the waist and belly. Insulin resistance may be more likely in individuals whose birth assignment is female, waist measurement of 35 inches or more, or male, waist measurement of 40 inches or more, Inflammation or the release of hormones and other chemicals that affect insulin sensitivity can be brought on by excess fat cells, inactive lifestyle, insulin resistance, and other related diseases, including obesity and type 2 diabetes, are associated with inactivity. Studies reveal that even small increases in physical activity, including going for regular walks or doing low-impact workouts, can reduce the likelihood of developing insulin resistance. High carbohydrate diet. The likelihood of developing insulin resistance is increased by a diet heavy in fats, especially saturated fats and carbs. Overindulging in fats and carbs can cause the body to store fat, especially in the muscle and liver. This may make it more difficult for the body to utilize insulin as intended. Insulin resistance risk factors. It is possible to reduce, postpone, or avoid negative consequences by being aware of the insulin resistance risk factors. Some of the issues related to lifestyle behaviors can occasionally be changed or even eliminated if you know what to look out for. Risk factors for insulin resistance include being 45 or older, having a high BMI, having a parent or sibling with diabetes, having a sedentary lifestyle, a personal history of gestational diabetes a personal history of his heel, heart disease or stroke, medical conditions such as high blood pressure and polycystic ovary syndrome, Cushing syndrome, sleep apnea, and other problems with getting enough sleep. When to see a doctor. Make an appointment with your healthcare practitioner if you feel you may have insulin resistance or if you are having symptoms such as increased thirst, frequent urination, exhaustion, or unexplained weight gain. Talking with your doctor about any family history of diabetes or other associated disorders may be a good idea. Your doctor can do tests during your visit to see if you have insulin resistance and can also provide advice on how to treat the issue, including lifestyle modifications and medication if needed. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel 
and hit the bell icon for more informative videos.